Hey guys, Supersonic Pwns here, and today I'm going to go over some of the features in uh, the iPad Touch software 3.0. So I recently upgraded it to 3.0. You can download it for iPhone, for all versions I think, all versions of the iPhone and both uh, generations of the iPod Touch. So just to prove it to you, not just my background, I like it. Uh, go in there and uh, I'll go into settings. Go down in the general. Oh wait, no, sorry, it's wrong. Down. Where is it? Go in the yeah, it's in general, and then about. And songs, videos, blah blah blah, applications, capacity, uh, version. All right, found it. Okay, it says version right here, 3.0. Uh, whatever that is. Alright, it says 3.0. So, let's so back up. Once it's all done syncing, and it takes a while for that, you can go in and unlock it. It'll have your background and everything in there. First thing you'll notice is that, uh, got a new app on there. Voice Memos. And what it is, is, uh, sound recording software you just pretty much if you have a mic for your iPod touch or if it's an iPhone it's already got a mic <clears throat> and you can record go into the list play them delete them but I don't have a mic that works with it so uh, next I went into settings and looked at uh, looked around in there where's that on my list oh well I went into settings and noticed that you oops now have door uh, basically in here you can view your account view your account or sign out and I'll show your address up there all right and next uh, look down here nothing new got Wi-Fi still brightness I went to the general and looked through here there's Bluetooth now can go to Bluetooth and put that on. You can search things. I didn't even know this had Bluetooth capabilities. Apparently my phone found it. So I think it was it. Might not have been. It might just I don't know. Try it out, see if you can pair with something and see what you can do with that. Uh just tell me about it. Then there's home, I went in here and basically that. And then I went back home. You got all your apps. Play with them. Blah blah blah. Whoa, what's this? Oh my gosh. It's search. You can search your iPod. Search through all your apps, uh your mail, your uh your what's next? Your songs, your videos, your everything. Alright. So let's basically search. Let's do Pocket Cod and P O. Got all the songs. And pocket guide. And you can click on it automatically launch. Then we got I went into iTunes, I guess. It's next on my list. Load up, load up, load up, load up. It's loading. Loading. Oh, and then uh, see. Once it loads up, uh, on the bottom, here. Oh, it immediately asks for your password. So I'll just hit cancel now. All right, and then at the bottom you have your podcast search uh, and music still, but there's also videos. You can download videos now from iTunes. That rocks. You can also go to more, redeem uh, still. You got your downloads, and then there's iTunes U, iTunes University, and audiobooks. Uh, so now you got the full features of uh, the regular desktop iTunes on here. Uh, next, the App Store. There's a couple new features in here. Uh, ask you for your password again. Cancel. 
and you can go down into any app. Uh, you also got up uh, and more. You can redeem them from here and updates. Let's go back into the categories, features. At the very bottom, I'll show your email address, and you can click on that and view your account. But if you go into an app, you got your basic description, and I stumbled upon this one down here. You got your pictures. You can slide through that, but you can't make them big like you could before. So on the downside, slide up, it won't change direction. Next, uh, YouTube. You can now sign in. All right. You got in under more. You got most recent top rated history. My videos. You see, uh, subscriptions and playlists. You got uh, your favorites in here. Which uh, you'll keep your bookmarks from before. They'll just and once you go into and sign in, it'll ask you if you want to import them as favorites. You got search still most viewed featured. Uh, let's go into my videos just to show you an example. All right, here's my last one. Hit it in the center to play it. Hit done, and then after you're done, you'll find you'll see the description, and then there's more videos. You can find more videos by that user. Just add in, and then there's also the comments down below. You can hit comment, rate, or flag. Just rate or comment. And comment. Test. Test. Okay. No. All right, and then you can go back here. It'll pretty much show you the same thing as it was before. I'll show you related videos. Then you can add it to favorites, add to playlists, and share video. Next, uh, mail. Basically, I discovered that Hotmail now works. And you can do landscape, but I'm not going to go in because it will show some other people's personal information. And I respect that. Uh, next, uh, maps. I haven't really used maps before, so I'm not sure really what's new. But I think there's under here, you can, there's a whole bunch of new stuff. Drop pin, show traffic, map, satellite, list. Uh, list will show you the place that you've bookmarked, I believe. And then there's map, regular map, satellite, and hybrid, which will show both. And you can show traffic. Next, uh, photos. In photos. Um, let's see photos. All right, my background. You've got your basic stuff down here. Delete, blah, blah, blah. And under here, you have email, photos, assigned to contact, use a small paper. I thought there was something a little different. Oh, yeah, you also got this here in the menu. And there's down there, share, copy, delete. And you can just select your photos. And then hit cancel. Uh, which brings me, since I say copy, to copy and paste. I think this is one of the biggest ones here. There's nothing really new with anything else. Basically search and such. So let's search ah uh, test. Alright. Dang it. Alright, I'll just block that out. Oh well. Alright. Mm -hmm. Zoom in here. Get in focus. Alright. You can see that, right? Yeah, okay. You can go in here, basically hold down on there, and you'll see the magnifying glass again. You release on the magnifying glass. You get these. Select all, select, paste. So let's select all. And then you got cut, copy, paste. For this uh, example, let's do cut. No, okay, copy, whatever. Go into Safari. Go up to Google. Delete all that. Hold it. Hold it until you see the magnifying glass. There we go. Release it. And then you can hit paste. And Google it. So, yeah, that's basically it in a nutshell. Pretty fast. Try to keep it under the time limit. In fact, I've gone over. Try to speed that up. So, if you like this, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you later. Uh, post your comments on what you think of this new 3.0. And tell me if I missed any features. Alright, so, comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. See ya.